Welcome back to Blackwater Bottoms FS22. I up on top of the green tank. I don't know if it, I don't know if Matt or anybody knew that it was possible to get up here, but I was playing earlier and I just thought that'd be a good place to start off the video. We will continue to be do the cutting trees, but I think I want to go ahead and take advantage of the daylight and finish off harvesting my corn field uh, field six I did quite a bit of the harvest and let's just as you can see there is not much left There's not much at all. It shouldn't take too long to do, especially when we can harvest at nine miles an hour. I know a lot of people wish they could actually harvest corn at nine miles an hour. This is what that speed adjustment mod's good for. It lets you go a, a little quicker than what they do in real life, but they don't have you going at ridiculously fast. like the realistic speed mod. And I am running uh, X9 with the John Deere header that came out recently that folds up. That way Yes, it's a little more expensive than the other fold-up headers, corn headers, but didn't have to change the color of it. It is $127,000. But with my money cheap mod, I, I was like, yeah, I can take out a little bigger loan and we'll just easily get it taken care of. And Matt, if you're listening, that was pretty clever hiding one of the collectibles just a little bit past midways of this field. Luckily, it didn't do any damage to the, my header when I hit it. It just caught one corner of the header, and it's like, well, 
that that's not bad. At least it wasn't dead center of the header. The tractor started going at an angle. It's like, why is it going at an angle and not straight on forward? I backed up and I saw the collectible. It's like, uh huh. That's a little different of a hiding place for it. Most people put them along the edge of the field. Matt puts them in the field. And in the ditches. and The ones in the ditches were easy to spot. When it's in the middle of a field planting corn, it was not so easy to spot. Matter of fact, I didn't see it until I done hit it a couple of times. And I know Matt is subscribed to my channel, and so is Vanessa. We're going to have a little over a hopper full anyways. Well, at this rate, we'll have a couple of hopper fulls. Hmm. How far away from the truck am I? Well, I still got 20 more percent before I'm full though too, so. I'll probably be down at the far end. I'll definitely be towards the far end. Uh, I'm, and my green cart's back there. Of course, I'll have to. I could do it like they do in real life and just have to run up and get it. The tractor. Of course, I noticed the forecast was saying it's going to be cloudy, and I don't want to turn around and have it rain. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to. care about the pH level when it's in an area that's harvested. Yes, I'm running through the corn field to the tractor. I Here's walk mode, then I pull my right trigger on my Xbox controller and I can run. Yes, most of this equipment is John Deere on here, but I'm thinking about adding the Kubotas in. I just haven't figured out 
what I'd be using the Kubotas for. Right offhand. I did shut the tractor off. That way we're not wasting fuel in it. And I just squeezed the left bumper and hit B to lower my header. And then left bumper and X on the Xbox controller and it turns it back on. That way it makes it look more realistic instead of just having the header automatically turn on and lower will make the field a little bit shorter nice part about having the controller is you don't have to have the any mod any special mod to operate the combine harvester like a more realistic I found that out in 19 when and it's like I I just accidentally happened to do it one time in 19 and it's like hey cool I can do this and make it more realistic I don't even need the realistic mod And I automatically, or I went and uninstalled it after I got done playing the game that night. And I've been doing it this way ever since. Well, it looks like we might even be heading back before we get full. I hope everybody's had a good week so far, and I hope everybody has a good weekend. And I'd like to wish or congratulate Jewel the Jet on getting, well, she, I know she lost one sub, but she's at 449 subs now. She, she's got that 
500 mark in sight, and I'm sure she'll hit that 500 mark before long. And hopefully she's able to still keep airing that for a few more days. But I think it would be a good surprise though if when if she does lose her internet that when she gets it back up and running to wind up having five hundred plus subs. I I'm using the lizard 82 Studios Wizard trailer and I I can't even tell you how many trailer loads I've hauled into the, the silo but it is a bunch Well, I know we'll have a little left over, but I'd rather have it left over in the green cart than in the harvester. Someone just posted a video apparently because Discord's going off like crazy. I'm just glad that don't come through on the recordings. This semi, I know I've got, is from the mod hub, it's the A's WG or some sort of deal like that. Only 6% left in the green car. That ain't bad. And yes, I deleted all the buildings that come in the farmer or start from scratch farmer mode, but I don't know if this is an impossible, but I'm going to try it. Ah, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Oh, 
wrong button. Let's see. Well, at least this John Deere does have a cup holder in it. I never looked to see before. Well, that's enough for my cup of coffee anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and get the... Where's the semi? There it is. For this particular map, I went ahead and went with the steerable trailer axle just to help turn the corners a little better. And then we'll see exactly how much corn we got out of the Over 500,000 liters. Five thousand five hundred fifty-four thousand and eight hundred one. That's quite a bit of corn. I made do animals later on on this map I'm not sure that's why I just threw all the corn in to the silo was <coughs> just in case if I do decide to get animals uh, why am I getting you uh, that's probably Miss Wild going on. Yep. Doing ATS tonight. Tonight being Tuesday night. Uh, let's hear. I don't need the skitter quite yet because I still have one. I know I've got at least one tree left to trim up. Uh, well, it didn't come up here. Uh, where is it? Okay. I did that one, so I'm on the right trail. Well, here's one.
Now, why not, and mama, this is how you're supposed to have your trees look before you go loading them up. Be nice and clean. That way you get better money for them. I give, I tease them all the time about not cleaning the, all the limbs off. Of the trees. I've seen them load trees with five or six Limbs on theirs and oh, I skipped a couple. These taller trees, it's hard to sometimes to get all of them. I do double check them when I go to pick them up or load them. That one's not really in the way there. And I don't know if those boards being dropped are going to come through on the recording or not in the background, but get ready to move a fridge in. Oh, there's another tree back there. Well, I'll back up to this other tree. And this particular skitter was the first one that came out on the mod hub. I just went with a different option on it than 
the standard full tire. But I'll call it a video here and we'll take up on part three from here. See y'all later. Bye. Now, take care.